Craig Walker and I am the owner for TW Home Essentials, um, a candle company. I actually, I was married for eight years and um, divorced for, this March will be two full years that I've been divorced. And I didn't start developing self-love until after I divorced my husband. When we separated, that was it. There was just, where's Terry? Like, whatever happened to this girl that was, that had all this spunk mm -hmm. and she was so outgoing and people that called me, I stopped talking to certain people, um, especially close friends of his. My mother always said, um, if you're going through something, don't ever let the world know. And so with my divorce, it was kind of like that. It was like a hush-hush. If you saw me out and about, I had the biggest smile on my face. No one could tell that I was being fake. Um, and, it was, and I was actually hurting inside. Like I would go out and I'm sitting there and I'm not a drinker, but I'll have my seltzer and my, my lemon, my lime. You know, I'll sit there and I'm, I'm talking to people and then all of a sudden I zone out and I hear nothing that anyone is saying. But July, uh, July 4th of 2011, this is when I became Terry again. I literally blocked out. My husband came to the house and he came to drop off a few things. And at that point in time, I knew it was over. And I went upstairs and my parents were there, my sisters, my son, and all of a sudden I wake up, like I literally blocked, like blacked out. I didn't know what happened. I woke up and here are these firefighters over me with oxygen. And it was the scariest thing because here it is, my son was crying. It was that sudden shock of seeing my son's face that brought me to where I am now. Um, someone who loves themselves and don't need a man to love in order to be who I am. Men will come and go. And if that is where your happiness lies, you're never going to be happy. And so once I saw that look on my son's face, my entire world changed. I started doing things. I started going out. I started experiencing life for myself. I would dress up, do my hair, and go out and people would really see me for who I am. And this time it wasn't fake. Mm -hmm. I was literally smiling from inside out. When I got my divorce, I don't know, it, it felt like a, you know like when something is holding you down? I felt like once I signed those papers, like I felt like a butterfly, I felt free. My wings were dry and I could just go. And I kept saying to myself, now what, what do you do? Do you go out, do you continue dating? What do you do? I had all this free time on my hand and I kept saying to myself, I don't want to work for anybody. I do not want to work for anybody. I'd walk into the office and I would put my bag down, check my emails, tell my assistant what it is that I would like her to do for the day. But to be honest with you, I wasn't happy. It's funny how I started my company because I've always liked candles and I would burn like Yankee candles, Scentsy, anything passing, anything with pretty colors, I would burn. And within, I want to say 45 minutes to an hour, I noticed that I started getting these headaches. Didn't know why I would get all these headaches and it, it only happened as I would burn my candles. And as a person who used to work for Pfizer and I'm into, you know, chemistry and science, I started researching what was in this candle that I was burning that would give me a headache. So finally now I research and, and what I came up with or during you know during the process of research is that paraffin is like a cancer causing agent mm. and so it, it's made with like a petroleum which is a byproduct of oil and so what happens is when you burn this candle whatever candle you're burning that has paraffin it pretty much sucks out all of the oxygen in the air so the reason why you would get these headaches is because you, the oxygen level is lowered, yes. Mm -hmm. So you get these headaches, whereas a soy candle, 
when you're burning it, it's much cleaner. Um, cotton wick, no colors, no, no artificial dyes or anything like that. So you, I, I, I could burn three different soy candles at the same time and I will never get the effect that I would get with one paraffin candle. What I learned was that in the process, there's like a chemistry between the soy and your fragrance or your essential oil, depending on what your preference is. So I would try to combine the two and the next day I'm burning it. And of course, I'm not a, who am I? I'm not a, a I'm not yet a candle girl as I am now. <laughs> But I would burn these candles after a day, not realizing that you have to let it sit for several days and cure. Yeah, there is a, cer a, a certain thing called a cure time in candles. So what happened is, it's that chemical bonding between the soy and the fragrance or essential oils. So you have to let it sit for like a week or so. Two, three weeks if you really want it to be a strong scented candle. But it took me... I want to say almost six months to actually figure out that this is why my candles didn't smell or scent. So now, find me, I'm getting these the hang of these candles. This was July of 2015. So now, August, I start just making candles. Just It's almost like I had like this huge distribution center in my house. <laughs> so I'm, I'm making all these candles and people are like messaging me hey can i get five you're making me crazy can i get three of these and it wasn't until then i started realizing that this is my calling and i am actually from jamaica so we have this thing where if your elders come to you in a dream it means something so i couldn't figure out what my great grandmother she would continuously come to me in a dream and she actually she used to make castor oil and she used to sell castor oil um, I remember she used to make them and sell them, send them up by the bottle for us. Um, but yeah, when I, when I was a kid growing up in Jamaica, this is what she did and she made money off of it. And not realizing back then as a kid that you're considered an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Here it is, you don't work for anyone, but you're, you know, she's constantly in these shops. She's selling her sweet potatoes, her yam. So this is what I grew up, not working for anybody else, working for yourself. Um, I actually have mentors who have their own candle companies. So it's actually cool that they actually take their time out to mentor me and tell me what I'm doing wrong, what I need to be doing. Um, so yeah, I, I'm hoping that you'll see my candles in Macy's one day or I'm, I'm really trying to think big um, and hopefully it'll happen. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make um, massage candles from scratch. And right here we have our soy wax, um, which is actually um, has a little bit of cocoa butter, mango butter, shea butter, and a coconut oil. In order to start making your candle, you have to make sure that it, it's at the right temperature. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take maybe just two scoops. So we have our two scoops here, and then while we have that cool to about 150, it's currently at about 100 and, well, it's at 147, so we'll leave it there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put on our warning labels, which is important. You never want to do the candle until you have your warm, warning label. Okay. So what we're doing now is um, we have our wax, and we're waiting until it gets to about 140 degrees, and then we're going to add a few drops of whatever fragrance we decide. Uh, today I'm going to use the Nat Champa. Um, I thought about using the Jamaican Me Crazy, but I'll have Shakira do that. So I'm going to go with the Nat Champa and I'm going to use or take 20 drops to begin with. Okay. So then we're going to take our spatula and we're going to mix our scent in with our wax. And you don't want to mix too fast because what end up happening it build, it makes like these uh, bubbles, mm -hmm. and you don't want that to happen. Once it gets to about 140 degrees, then we're gonna pour. Okay, so it's actually at 139. And there's an invisible line there, so you never want to go past the invisible line. Okay, 
So then you just let it stay there for about a half an hour or so, so it can solidify. Once that's all solidified, you can actually use it the next day. So, Shakira, I'll have you come over. Okay. So what you want to do is, first thing you want to do is put your warm warning label, perfect. Then you want to peel off the sticker and place it directly in the center of your tin. Okay. And what this little black round thing is, I don't know what the thing is called. <laughs> um, it's to hold your wick in place. Okay. So you just want to, yep, so just put it over. Mm -hmm. Right, and then you just pull it back. So now you have your cup. And you can actually use just one, one scoop. Put a little more. And then you can actually choose your scent, and I think you're going with the Jamaican Me Crazy. crazy. Okay. <laughs> so we have our Jamaican Me Crazy, which is our number one seller. So I'll have you. You can use 20 drops, and then if it's not strong enough, you can put about 10 more. Oh. So then you'll take your spatula, and if, again, if it's not strong enough, you can add some more. Oh, it's very strong. Mm-hmm. And then you actually just pour it right in there. Continue pouring. There's actually an invisible line, but I think you have just enough. Perfect. Okay. That smells delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and there you have it. And you actually just let it sit there for about 20, 25 minutes, 45 minutes at the most to solidify. Um, I actually dropped the temperature, so it may solidify faster than normal. So here we have our final product. It took about half an hour or so to solidify. Um, and as you can see, we have a nice smooth massage candle. And it smells absolutely delicious. Hi, my name is Terry Walker and I'm the owner for TW Home Essentials a Candle Company. We specialize in 100% soy candles, as well as bath bomb massage candles, as well as a whole host of other products. Our main product, being our Jamaica Me Crazy, is our number one seller along with our Amaretto Nog. Uh, since our incorporation in August of 2015, we have sold over 500 candles, um, Jamaica Me Crazy candles, I should say. We are based in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and you can contact me by calling 203-545-2038. We are also on Facebook tag TW Home Essentials. On Instagram, it's at TW Home Essentials, as well as our website, www.square.com backslash market backslash TW dash home dash essentials. TW Home Essentials, it's not just a candle, it's an experience.